Brian. Some popular New Year's resolutions include learning how to cook and eating healthier. And a huge part of living a healthier lifestyle is cooking more meals at home. And today we are learning a healthy recipe anyone can do, even if you're new to the kitchen. I'd like to welcome the pro, Chef Al Romano, now joining us live. You may remember him. He's a chef and instructor for the culinary program at Guilford Technical Community College. Chef Al, good morning. Thanks for being with us. Good morning. How you doing? Happy to be here. Fabulous. Thank you. So okay. this recipe we sounds got, um, <laughs> so good. And folks can follow along with the recipe right now. We want to let them know to visit triadcw.com and follow along with us. So Chef Al, I love salmon. I make it all the time, but this is kind of a nice new twist. So take it away. Definitely, definitely. First of all, you want to get wild caught salmon. Uh, it's, it's probably better than the farm raised. So okay. here I got a couple of pieces, skin on, skin off, whatever you like. Um, the recipe calls for just plain salt and pepper. I like to throw a little blackened mix on there. And that's, you know, you could buy that, you can make it. Um, it's all there. This basically, it's, just a, it's a mix of different herbs and spices. And what I'm gonna do here is just put a little bit of olive oil in my pan. I got my pan hot. It's not too hot, but it's, it's hot enough where it's gonna pan sear it. Because salmon, you don't wanna kill. You, wanna, you mm -hmm. can do it a little medium rare. So I'm gonna put it down there and just put it on there. And I'm gonna let it cook three, four minutes. Um, total, about five minutes on, both, uh, on uh, total of both sides. Next, um, I wanna show you how to do the salsa, which is kinda really, which makes this dish. Okay. Um, so I got some, uh, chopped cilantro, fresh chopped cilantro, some black beans. You could use uh, dried and soak them overnight. I used a can, but make sure you rinse them if you use the canned ones. Some chopped onion and some mango. And the mango, people are a lot afraid of, of mango. Um, when you buy the mango, try to get the most red ones you can. Um, the more green, I'm not gonna, this is good for a couple of days. I'm gonna wait on that one. But I'm gonna just kinda show you real quick on how to do this. Uh, I'm gonna basically take my knife and, and this slide it down the pit. There's a big pit in there. And what I did, kind of just slide it this way, and just make little X's in it. And this is just one way of doing it. There's a lot of other ways of doing it. This is the way I like to do it. And then it kind of just pops up, and you, and you just kind of cut your little mangoes right off, just like so. And you got little dices right there. So, so easy, I love that. You got that? And I'm gonna make, yeah, it's really easy to do. So I'm gonna kind of mix my salts together. Let me check my salmon while I'm over here. So five minutes oh, pan seared on both sides, you good. said, Chef Al? No, 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 total of five minutes. So here, you can see right see, there. I need all the help I can get. So it's five been, minutes what, about on a minute one or two. side. <laughs> then that's it. No, 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 you don't wanna do five minutes on one side. <laughs> yeah, just switch around. So now I got my, uh, Stuff I'm just gonna kind of throw it together. This is a double batch I did because I'm gonna use it tonight for dinner. <laughs> so my black beans, salsa in here, and salt is cool. This is a, uh, I use apple cider vinegar. You can use red vinegar. Just a little bit, kind of toss it together, all in here. And this makes it look nice and pretty. A little salt and pepper just to give it a little kick in there. So here we go, like so, and that's, and that's it. And you can make that ahead of time. So here, I'm gonna get, grab another plate here, take my salmon off, and it's almost ready. But I got one already done here, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna let that go a couple more minutes. This is one I got made up already. I did a little polenta cake with some broccoli, all good healthy stuff. And just kind of put it on there. Voila, delicious. Looks so Look good. That. Chef Al, let me ask you quickly a substitute for black beans. Say for instance, someone sure. doesn't, you know, not a fan of beans. What would you use instead? Uh, you could use uh, chickpeas, you could use uh, navy beans or not, no beans at all. Okay. Um, peppers you could throw in there. Um, but they just give it a little extra kick, a little extra flavor. You know, I, I would, you know, try it, try it, you know. Yeah. Can't hurt. <laughs> 
Absolutely. This was fantastic. Thank you so much, Chef Al. We appreciate you joining us. Please come back. I love learning new recipes from you. And folks, if you missed any Anytime. of Anytime. Let's do Chef breakfast Al's next time. Breakfast. <laughs> yes, it is 9 o'clock in the morning after all. <laughs> we'll definitely invite you back for some <laughs> breakfast. And be sure to include bacon. <laughs> okay. So, um, folks at home, you can find you Chef it. Al's recipe right now at triadcw.com. You can find more information as well on how to enroll in GTCC's culinary arts program. That info is on your screen, gtcc.edu. Now I'm hungry.